Do you know how you know when you're old? How? When Hollywood Studios is turning as old as you are. <laughs> Today's the 35th anniversary of Hollywood Studios. It is. We're so excited. We're here to celebrate. And there's already a couple events lined up for the day. We're going to be starting the day off with a special event at the Theater of the Stars. Can't wait. We have new 35th anniversary merch. And then we're going to celebrate by riding some of the most iconic attractions here at Hollywood Studios. Come join us today. Let's have some fun. We picked up the commemorative guide map for today. It says May 1st, 2024. Exactly 35 years ago, the park opened in 1989, which is really, really cool. Um, here we've got some general info about the park and what's happening today. Um, let's see over here. Okay, we've got like your regular, you know, park map with the 35 there. And then, this is the cool part. This is the cool bar. Ha! I didn't even know that was there, and when she showed me, it blew my mind. How cool is this? I think this is very cute. I don't think they've really done this before, where like the guide map is actually a poster, but I really love it. We're heading over to Theater of the Stars now to get in line. I don't think it's gonna be that crazy because it's really early right now. It's like an hour and a half before the show actually starts. So I think we're gonna be perfectly fine. I'm so excited to see the show and I can't wait what it's gonna be like. We are so glad to be here with you celebrating this momentous occasion. Yes, yes. Well, it only makes sense that we were asked to come here and host this event. You see, Kermit, each and every Disney park has an iconic symbol. Magic Kingdom has Cinderella Castle. And drink. Epcot has Spaceship Earth, and Animal Kingdom has the Tree of Life. And of course, Disney's Hollywood Studios has... The Hollywood Tower Hotel. What kind of eye cap is that? The best one? storytelling through a means we all hold dear to our hearts, movies. In the beginning, Disney's Hollywood Studios, or Disney MGM Studios, as we used to call it, it was all about pulling back the curtain and taking guests inside the art of filmmaking, from backlot tours to animation lessons, and even revisiting classic films from throughout the ages. Great movie ride fans, I see you. <laughs> now over time, this place has become so much more, offering everyone who enters those gates the opportunity to step inside their favorite films and live out adventures they could only previously experience on screen. Now the thing that makes all this possible the element that completes the journey into the amazing world of these films is, of course, our cast. And today we have some very special cast members in attendance. These incredible people have been here at Disney's Hollywood Studios since the very beginning. These cast members, and so many more, have put their heart and soul into Disney's Hollywood Studios. And they are such a huge part of what makes this part a premier destination for people everywhere to follow their imagination and live their adventure.
celebration event. It was, and a great way to celebrate the cast. I love seeing everybody that's been there for all 35 years of that's the park insane. being open. That's totally insane. One of those guys that was up there, I noticed is uh, one of the people that we've seen in one of those Disney shows about the parks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These people are like celebrities around here. They really are. <laughs> My favorite part, though, was, well, two things. I thought it was really cool that the Muppets were there. We had Miss Piggy and hosts. Kermit. That was yep. so good. And I loved all the characters that came out from Fantasmic and the music and the confetti. I know, it was so cute. And Mickey came out. It was adorable. I really liked it. And I thought it was like just a really nice moment to really celebrate the people that make Hollywood happen. Coming right up though, we are heading now to stage one, what's it called? Stage one company store for the 35th anniversary merch. Yep. Our time has been called, so we're gonna go check it out. According to Miss Piggy earlier, this is the icon of Hollywood Studios, <laughs> you guys. We are here with all the merch and the 35th anniversary merch logo is really cool. We have a few t-shirts to choose from, hats, some water bottles and stuff I didn't even know they were gonna have and a really cool statue. Let's go ahead and check everything out. Here's the 35th anniversary hat, and I really like this. Everything's embroidered, and we even have Disney's Hollywood Studios embroidered on the side there. Very cool, and I love the navy color. All right, we found one of our t-shirts that we have for the 35th anniversary. Found an extra small, too, so hopefully this will fit. Hold on. It's not going to. <laughs> that's that's your new muscle shirt, babe. I just picked this up expecting it to be like an adult size extra small, and it's just so tiny. You gotta you get go. your abs and then you'll be ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's a but... cute print though. Look yeah, at seriously it. though, it is really cute. Um, I really like the colors that they went with for this. And if you're not into like the dark look, there's a baby blue version of that, um, of this same shirt. I think it's like exactly the same, right? Let's go take a look at it. Okay. So we found the baby blue one here. It's exactly the same, it's exactly the same um, logo. I like the color combination with the navy blue better though. I feel like the gold and the white just, you know, they look better. It makes the gold pop more on the navy. Exactly, it's more like, ooh, wow. And it's more elegant, like, you know, navy blue and gold is always like, elevated yeah so i kind of like that for the shirt but if you're into the the lighter blues you got options too i found a mickey statue and it is so cute for the 35 years and i love it because he's in a director's chair with his like a megaphone good to go and it's cute i love that it's gold so it looks like a kind of like the statues that are around the park that you could use your yep. magic bands uh -huh. with a little bit oh, i didn't even think of that yeah it's kind of cool it is a hundred dollars so not very cheap but a very cool collectible if you want something to commemorate 35 years of hollywood studios if a hundred dollars isn't quite in your budget which <laughs> it's not in mine there's a beautiful limited collector's 35th pin, Ooh. and it's only $17.99 and very cute. You also have Mickey in kind of like an old school outfit here directing a movie with his little, what do you call those things when you would be like a uh, mark or whatever, you know, to start the oh, film? Oh yeah, I have no those idea what that's popcorns. called. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, <laughs> but very cute pin. I found the tank of mugs here, you guys. This is a Corksicle water bottle, and it is so heavy duty and thermal. Like, this is on here so snug. It's got a built-in handle, which is really cool if you wanna like swing it around while you're walking. It's got a built-in straw, which is Whoa. neat. It's really hard, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the logo on here is really pretty. So it has the 35 years in the middle. On the side, we have the Millennium Falcon for Galaxy's Edge, Buzz for Toy Story, Mickey, and the Tower of Terror, which I'm sorry, Miss Piggy, is the icon <laughs> of the park. What kind of icon is that? I found my favorite item here. This is kind of like a baseball ringer tee, and the logo on here is really cute. My favorite part is the color of the sleeves. I have a few shirts like this that I absolutely love. And again, you have that iconic logo with the Falcon, Buzz, Mickey, and the Tower of Terror on there. So my only gripe is it only comes in a small. Boo. And it swallows me. <laughs> but it is what it is. I may get in and try to shrink it and tuck it in or something because it's just that adorable. And last but certainly not least is the lounge fly bag. I like the all over pattern of here of the logo. And then on the front embroidered, you have the main logo there. Again, the navy and kind of yellow or gold color scheme is really pretty. You have these like shiny gold accents on the bag with the zippers here in the front, which is really cool. 
And then inside the prints are really nice. We have kind of an all over print, but it's just Mickey Mouse there. Oh, that's so I kind of like that they differentiated a little bit there that they didn't keep the same logo pattern. They mm -hmm. just did a bunch of Mickeys inside. I had to get the shirt. I <laughs> loved it. And I wanted something to like commemorate our time here. So in another 35 years, I can look back and be like, I was there. <laughs> so Hollywood Studios is a really cool park and it has evolved a ton. Babe, do you remember what used to be behind us? Yes, it was, well, it was that great movie ride the show. The great movie ride, which was actually what we saw when we came here mm -hmm. for the very first time together. I loved that, that ride. We are headed to the only, I believe, opening year attraction left here at Hollywood Studios. The last one left. And we're headed down Commissary Lane. What's really neat and different about this is at the end of Commissary Lane, it used to be when you would hang a right, the streets of America. Do you remember that? I so remember that. And you have a picture of me yep. there from I don't know when. With the whole backdrop, with the like, the literally the street and the buildings <laughs> all behind you. It was a really cool place. It was. What's so crazy is when we came back eventually and that was gone, I thought that I was crazy. Like I was like, I thought that there were, that this was here. And yeah. I just, I was so confused that it was gone. The backlot tour was there, which was super fun. We absolutely loved riding oh, that. Back to, back um, and then Lights, Motor, Action, the stunt show. Oh, that was so cool. But I do have to say that is now where Galaxy's Edge is. And if I had to trade it, I would not trade Galaxy's Edge for the world. Yep, exactly. And you know, it is, it is what it is. There's like some nostalgia with like those old shows and yep. like the great movie ride. God, yeah. that, that ride was so cool. But you know, they're, they're, there's advancement and things are more modern now and it's still really cool. Here it is, oldest attraction at the park that's still open, Star Tours, let's do it. Star Tours is always so much fun. This is a ride I used to come on every time we would come before, but Estella actually rode it for the first time a couple months ago. Actually, yeah, no, it was like last three month, weeks ago. Like three yeah. weeks ago. <laughs> for the very first time and now I, I love it and I can't wait to ride it every time we're here because I want to see something different. <laughs> Speaking of different, that's what's really cool about this ride is it's always evolving. And we actually just got a bunch of new scenes from Ahsoka and Dor in The Mandalorian last month for Season of the Force. Yeah, I really love that they're just like adding that to this ride that's been here since the year the park opens, the only ride left. Yep. And I love that they're adding to it instead of just like remaking the whole thing because it's like, you know, history. It's iconic and it can always evolve and change with modern times. We can't be at Hollywood Studios and not talk about the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. I know, this show is amazing and it's actually the oldest running show at the park. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's been here forever. It's been here a very long time and we always have to come see it. It's my favorite show here, I think, at Hollywood Studios. Me too. What I really, what I like extra love about it is that the theme of the show is like stunts and like movie making and that's what MGM Studios was about, you know, it was, yeah. It was all about like the magic behind the camera and that's exactly what the show is about. It is and the whole park was literally a back lot. They filmed yep. shows and movies and everything here. Yeah and like Streets of America was like um, the uh, you know like in Hollywood where they make movies. Yeah. Yeah it was just such a cool idea and now it's evolved into a park where you experience those movies. And you can live them and be in them like when you're at Galaxy's Edge and we bound and have fun. So it's really cool that at its core, like it retained the essence yeah. of Hollywood, yep. but just in a more modernized way. And I love that we've been here to see it. We've, we've seen both sides of it. That is a wrap for our day. See what I did there, a wrap? Like oh a my God. That's a wrap for our day here at Hollywood Studios <laughs> for the 35th anniversary. We had so much fun and hope you guys did too. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was cool to like, you know, Commemorate, celebrate 35 years. I can't wait till it's in like another 5, 20 years and we're still gonna be here doing and, this. And I'll be even older. <laughs> Guys, if you had a blast, come hang out with us some more to see how to have the perfect day here at Hollywood Studios and we will catch you very soon. Bye!